my brothers and sisters, from amongst us outsiders and amongst us individuals from outside Mecca who embraced Islam, another great character. His name is Tufail ibn Amr al-Dawsi. Tufail radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a great companion. And Tufail was not nobody. Tufail was the leader. He was the leader and, and the head of a tribe called Dawus. And Dawus was a big tribe. From amongst Dawus, Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, whose original name is Abdul Rahman ibn Sakh comes. Tufail was a leader. Respectful, very smart, very intelligent. And he was a poet. So he knows the Arabic language, he knows the poetry, he knows how to put the poems together and so on. And he, like every other Arab, on the 11th year of the prophecy, he came to Mecca to perform Umrah, to come and visit the Mecca and to do Umrah, to fulfill his religious obligation and to go back to those. When he arrived and the people of Quraysh heard of the arrival of Tufail, to Mecca, he's a leader. So the people of Quraysh, the leaders, welcomed Tufail and made him, gave him his special welcoming and sat down with him and gave him the best of hosting and so on and so on and so on. And at the same time, they warned him of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu They told him, there's a man here who splits between the husband and the wife, causes, causes fitna and causes, uh, causes dispute between the son and the father and the daughter and the mother. Watch out from him. He's got a spell so powerful that no one could you know, take that spell away. He is a magician. He is this, he is that. And all these confusing words they say about the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, just to turn people away from the Prophet To fail radiallahu ta'ala anhu, from what he heard from the people of Quraysh and what they kept in, you know, shoving into his mind and continued to put in his mind about the Prophet ﷺ, he got so scared from the Prophet ﷺ that while he was performing tawaf around the Kaaba, while he was circulating around the Kaaba as a, uh, a religious uh, ritual, a religious obligation, while he was doing tawaf around the Kaaba, he put cotton in his ear. He put cotton in his ear from the fear of hearing anything that Muhammad sallallahu says. That's how much they played with his mind and mentioned that Muhammad is this and Muhammad is that and he's got a spell and he's a magician and he's this and he's that. So he put, he shoved his ears with cotton from the fear that any of the words of Muhammad would go into his ear. While Allah Tufal was going around, he went back to his sense. He went back to his mind and said, I can't believe I'm doing this. I am a Tufail. I am a good poet. I'm a good man, I'm a smart man. People respect me because I'm smart. How could someone like Muhammad deceive me with his words? So he took his Quran away. And he sat with the Prophet alayhi salatu He said, look, tell me what you have. If it's good, I'll take it. If it's wrong, I'll reject it. And this is the right man. This is the right way of thinking. This is the right way of living. Not whatever we hear, we just take. Whatever we see, we just take. Khwani, sometimes we need to investigate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even says in the Quran Kareem, if you hear a news that you're not sure, investigate, look into it. Don't just hear one side. So Tufail radiallahu ta'ala anhu sat in front of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, you know, I heard this that about you. I'm sitting in front of you, just tell me what you have. Tell me what you have. And if it's good, I'll take it. And if it's bad, I'll reject it. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accepted what Tufail said. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam recited the Quran Karim to Tufail. Now Tufail is not nobody. Tufail is Tufail. He's a smart poet. He's a smart man. He's a leader. He's respected. When he heard those words, he said, Allah, 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 how beautiful are these words? These words are not the words of a human being. No one could make up these words. Even you, Muhammad, can even make up these words. Not even me. Not the whole world put together can make up these words. These are not the words of mankind. These are the words of a creator. And that's Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I testify that there is no God except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And then he said, O oh, messenger of Allah, what do you order me to do? As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa dealt with everyone, go back to your people and call them to Islam. Go back to your people and call them to Islam. And this is for us to understand that every Muslim is naturally a da'iyah. Every Muslim is born a da'iyah. What? A tufail was just a idol worshipper moments ago, minutes ago. And now he's a da'iyah. Go back to your people and call them to Islam. So it's the da'wah calling to Allah is not just for a sheikh, for an imam, 
for a scholar. The da'wah and calling to Allah, it is the responsibility of everyone who says, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Sa'ad Tufail went back to those. And then he, when he left the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, ask Allah, ask your Lord, that he shows my people a miracle on me. That when my people see me, at least they could see some signs of truth. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh, Allah, give him a miracle. Give him a miracle that when his people see him, they could see the sign of truth. So when the Tufail was traveling and he arrived to those to his tribe, his people are out there waiting for him, he's our leader, his family. So he said, Ya Allah, make this miracle appear on me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his face glow like a light in the middle of the darkness. His face was glowing like a light in the middle of the darkness. So Tufail said, Ya Rabb, Ya Allah, not in my face. Ya Allah, not in my face. Make it on my stick. If you make it on my face, then people might even worship me. They'll probably think, I'm a Lord. People will prostrate to me. Ignorance. So he said, Ya Allah, Ya Rabb, make it in my stick. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his stick light like a torch. So when his people saw him, they saw this amazing. What's this to fail? This is something amazing. We've never seen this before. He said, this is Islam. This is Islam. This is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Seventy people from Tufal became Muslim. And then later on, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa migrated to Medina, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam welcomed Tufail and the tribe of those coming to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam with a large number of them being a Muslim, including Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So this is Tufail radiallahu ta'ala anhu.